high from the spot. So this is our gear from 360 leader. It's time to talk about the best tips to fix Safari not working on iPhone and iPad. Smooth selling browsing and Safari goes hand in hand. Aside from being feature rich, the Apple browser is highly efficient and comes with a host of privacy centric features to let you browse the web by keeping the prying eyes in check. However, it's not perfect as the random crashing and sluggishness are often complained by many users. But both or not, I have found out some workable tips to fix the problem. That said, let's get started. First off, I will recommend you to disable JavaScript. If websites have encountered JavaScript related issues, they might crash Safari. Keep in mind that certain websites that rely on JavaScript might not function properly. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and choose Safari. Then you have to tap on Advanced at the bottom and find a turn of the toggle for JavaScript. Now open Safari to check if the problem is gone. Then I would suggest you to clear Safari cache and website data. The pileup of the cache data and website data accumulated in Safari over time is also well known for triggering issues like frequent crashing and sluggishness. Therefore, make sure to clear Safari history and website data. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and choose Safari. After that, tap on clear history and website data to clear the cache and data. Bear in mind that it will log you out of any websites you are currently signed into. Thus, you will have to re-enter your login credentials. Next up, I will suggest you to close all unnecessary tabs. Having too many tabs open unnecessarily not only slows down Safari, but also tends to make the browser crash or become unresponsive. Thus, be sure to close all the useless tabs. Open Safari on your iPhone or iPad. After that, touch and hold the tabs icon at the bottom right corner of the screen. Now select Close X tabs in the pop-up menu. After that, force quit Safari and open it again to check if the problem has been sorted out. Next up, I would suggest you to reset network settings. If your iPhone is stressed with a random network related issue, it might cause Safari to crash and even stop the browser from functioning properly. Therefore, it would be apt to go for this reliable solution. It's worth pointing out that it will reset all network related settings such as Wi-Fi, cellular, VPN and Bluetooth. So be prepared to set them up again. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now tap on General. Then scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose Transfer or Reset iPhone or iPad. Then tap on Reset. After that, tap on Reset Network Settings and confirm the action. Next up, it's time to disable Safari extensions. Should the problem persist, it wouldn't be wrong to blame a malicious extension for the repeated crashing or ill-functioning of Safari on your iPhone or iPad. Open the Settings app. Now scroll down and choose Safari. Then select Extensions. After that, turn off all the installed extensions. Then turn them on one by one to figure out which extension is creating trouble for the browser. And finally, I would suggest you to update software on your iPhone or iPad. If Safari still crashes out or does not work as expected, go for the software update. There's a high chance that a bug could be behind the whole chaos. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now select General. Then tap on Software Update and finally download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS as usual. And that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix Safari not working on iPhone or iPad. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time.